hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to take a look at hypershade in maya so hypershade is a very powerful tool for shading and texturing in maya and we are going to see some basics and how all these shaders and materials work so you can open the hypershade with this icon here or what you can do is you can go to windows and in rendering editor you can click on this hypershade and it's going to open this window and here you can see your hypershade window in the top panel you can see all your materials and in this tab you can see all the textures you import and uh, all these uh, tabs contain lights and other utility shaders and here is the list of all the shaders in Maya and Arnold. So if you click on this Maya, it's going to show you only the shaders from Maya, which are the default shaders that comes with the Autodesk Maya. And here, if you click on this Arnold, it's going to show you all the shaders and materials from uh, Arnold Render. So you can click on any of these and uh, use for shading and texturing so if you click on this texture it's going to show you all the textures here and uh, this one shows you the lights and uh, this one the shaders and at last we have all these uh, utility shaders which are used to modify your uh, materials so for this tutorial we're going to use this arnold shaders so what you can do is you can uh, create a new material and for that what you can do is you can either go here and search for a material and we're going to take a standard surface material so if you type ai it's going to show you all the materials from arnold and every material and shaders from arnold they all have this ai as a prefix so if you type ai it's going to show you all the arnold shaders and you can also type further to something like that ai standard surface and if you click on this shader it's going to import this shader into this tab here so if i click here it's going to create a node here and now you can use this to texture or shade your objects so this is your base material and uh, this one have an output node so every output node you'll see on the right side like this and on the left side you'll see most of the input nodes so you can assign this material on your objects and uh, there are a few ways to do that you can just resize this hypershade and what you can do is you can just select this and with your middle mouse button you can just drag and drop to your object like this or what you can do is you can just click here right click and you'll see this option assign material to viewport selection like this so you have to select your object then go here right click and assign material to viewport selection and it's going to assign that material to the object which is selected in your viewport so these four shaders these are default and they comes with maya so you cannot delete them so if you want to delete uh, one of your shaders or your materials you just have to select and press delete and it's going to delete everything like this so if you want to create another material you can always go here and just scroll down and look for the desired shader or material or what you can do is you can go here in this tab you can press tab on your keyboard and search for material like this so i'm going to select this ai standard surface again so for example if you don't see your materials here like this and if you want to see all the nodes in this tab so what you can do is you can either select this material and with your middle mouse button just drag and drop this material here but when you do this it's going to hide all the output nodes from this material so 
so what you can do is you can clear your viewport so to clear all these nodes you just have to select everything and you can select this clear graph and it's going to remove all these nodes so what you can do is you can select this you can right click and you can select this graph network and it's going to open your material graph in this tab and it's going to show you all the input and output nodes so you can also hide your input and output nodes by these buttons here so if you click here it's going to just collapse this shader and only show you the output graph and if you click here then it's going to show you only the input graph but uh, we don't have any in input nodes right now so it's not going to do anything so what you can do is you can uh, rename this so that if you're using a lot of materials in your uh, scene so you can navigate through them without any issue so you just have to double click here and uh, just rename and now you can see here the name is changed for this material and here you'll see a rendered object so it's going to show you how your material is going to look like when you render your object and you can also change this object instead of the shader ball you can take a sphere or a glass object or a teapot anything you like so i'm just going to stick with the shader ball and here you can change your uh, hdri image or your background for the lighting to something like this so let's take a look at how we can import our uh, texture files and connect all those nodes with this material in hypershade so there is two ways to import your texture map so what you can do is you can just press tab and uh, you can type file and it's going to show you all these options so select this file texture and it's going to create a node here to import your texture map so if you click here and uh, see this panel it's going to ask you to import your uh, image so if you click on this image name and uh, go to the folder where you have your uh, textures now you can select your base color we're going to make this node a base color node so select your base color and open and now if you select this it's going to show you your base color textures in this viewport now you can connect this just select this out color and uh, move this node and connect it to base color so if you select this node and uh, hover your mouse over this material it's going to show you which of these input nodes it can connect to so it can only connect to base color specular color but not with all these metalness or specular because this base color is a uh, rgb map and uh, metalness specular transmission and all these nodes they don't take a rgb map as an input node so you have to connect your uh, base color to only base color here and it's going to show you your texture here in this viewport now we also have an ao map here with this texture pack so we are going to see how we can combine this ao with this base color in our node so I'm going to go back to Maya and I'm going to just break this node connection here. So what you can do is you can just select this node and just remove it like this. Now let's import our AO map and then we're going to combine the base color and AO and then connect it together in this material. So I'm going to rename my texture first. So select this and uh, rename it as base. Now let's import our uh, AO map and uh, we created a file texture node to import our base color and this time we're going to directly import our AO map so I'm going to go here in this folder and just select this AO map and drop it in this viewport like this now to combine two materials we are going to need a multiply node so what I'm going to do is I can either go here and search for multiply or what I can do is I can just stay here in this tab and press tab then search for 
multiply and I can see this AI multiply node here just click on it and you can add uh, two input nodes here so I'm going to connect my base color with input 1 and my AO to input 2 and now you can connect this output color of this multiply node to your base color so just select it and connect it to the base color like this now you can't see your texture on this knife here so what you can do is you can select your object and then go to your hypershade right click on your material and just assign material to viewport and now you can see your texture on your knife like this now i'm going to import all my other textures and connect all those nodes to this material so let's go back to this folder and i'm going to import my normal map my roughness and my metallic for now just drag and drop them here like this so for the metallic we are going to open this out color since metallic and roughness are not RGB maps we need to connect this R channel of metallic to the metalness if you try to connect the out color of your metallic it's not going to connect to the metalness it's not going to show you these options to connect your nodes so you have to expand this out color and connect your R channel to metalness like this and you're going to have to do the same thing with the roughness as well so again expand this select the R channel and connect it to roughness just look for the roughness and you'll see this specular roughness and just connect it here and at last we have this normal map and for the normal map we need to add a utility node so I'm going to press tab and take a AI normal map and here just select this out color to the input and connect this out value to the normal camera of your material and uh, from this panel you can increase or decrease the strength of your normal map so I'm just going to keep this one for now and we're going to take a look at how our model look after rendering so I'm just going to close this and just create a light and render So this is the final result after connecting all the texture nodes with our material and rendering. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, also in the next one. Thanks for watching.